your discretion. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance. Hey everybody, it's the Fobra, and unfortunately I've been getting a lot more use out of this machine than that machine. But um, I saw Downshift83 did a video, 10 things he hates about um, his bikes. I think he did one, I know he did one on the R1, I think one he did one on the, uh, the Diavel 2. They called out uh, my buddy Clutch First, local New York motor vlogger. I'm sure you subscribed to him already. And the Clutch First was, uh, was over here the other night, and we were talking about my bike. It's an 07 CBR 600RR, or 600RR. And uh, I tried to think about 10 things that I disliked about this, and uh, it's really difficult because I've always loved this bike. This is my third CBR 600. I had a 2000, put it right here. 2000 CBR 600 F4. And then over here, I'll put a picture of my beloved 2006 CBR 600 F4i, uh, which got, which was totaled uh, when I was hit. Um, and my current 2007 CBR 600 RR. So let's talk about what I don't like in no particular order. Okay, let's take a look at the back of the bike. I love the undertail exhaust. The tail end on this bike, while I do love the rear um, splash guard and I have no intention of changing it, I would have loved to see it having a uh, tail light underneath here, kind of like the 2013 and up, and even I think the 03 to 06 had it. Uh, TSD Industries does a really nice job putting an integrated tail light, and I thought about doing that on more than one occasion. Um, what I don't want to lose, I actually like this. Uh, these side pieces that kind of cover the side of the exhaust and I don't mind the rest of this and the taillight Like I said, it doesn't look terrible, but I think it would look a little bit better. But like I said, this is me nitpicking and uh, Just throwing that out there. So that's the uh, one thing that I don't totally love Okay on these years. I think I don't know if it's 07 to 09 or something like that. The frame is a nice semi-gloss black and so is the swing arm. I know the later ones had silver um, however, the rear sets and the passenger pegs are cast in silver, much like this subframe. I think it was the Graffiti Edition, um, and maybe the Phoenix Edition, I don't know, but they had the blacked out rear sets, and I kind of did that with the TST Industries real carbon fiber heel guards. I like the way they kind of blend in. So, I kind of wish these were black as well. I think it would look really good, and I have thought on more than one occasion of sending these out to be powder coated, but... I don't know. It doesn't bother me that much, like I said. I actually don't know if I want to do them both in black. But in any case, I think these would definitely look better in black. This, oddly enough, this little heat shield was in silver. Uh, the previous owner, Knight Loki, actually painted this with some high heat. And I love how that has changed. And this used to be silver as well, and they changed it to a black one. So you got mostly black going on here. And then you have this thing right here, which is uh, silver. So there's something else. All right, so this is a sport bike, right? Let's talk about trunk space. Uh, I have the rear cowl, the OEM Honda rear cowl here. Um, my F4i had the banana seat and I was able to, remember if somebody crashed and I was able to put their mirror underneath the seat. This thing, and uh, <laughs> this trunk is so ridiculous, that's it, that's all we got. We went to Cycle Gear, I bought a set of glove liners, put them in there, and I was maxed out. Honda, why bother? This is uh, ridiculous, if I have to go anywhere, I wear my, uh, my backpack or I put a tail bag on it. I don't know. Okay, so that's three so far. Number four is something that's just on my bike. I love my Oxford heated grips. This is the bracket that's used to mount it, and it's silver. And uh, it bothers me every time I look at it. I know some of the guys think I'm crazy. Um, I wish this was powder coated black. Who knows, maybe I'll take that in the rear sets out. I already talked about the rear sets, and I'll have this done in powder coated black. Not a big deal, at least there's silver on the bike. However, I really would love to see this powder-coated black. Oddly enough, I like the levers. The factory levers in silver, they don't bother me. But this thing, I don't know. Like I said, nitpicking. Number five would have to be these buttons. You can barely see them. They're in here. They're the ones that you, you know, when you, you want to reset the trip or change the clock or something. On my, at my F4i that I had, it, it, which um, did have two buttons on it as well, there was just there was a lot more room to get in here, and thank goodness I had this double bubble. But just to get a gloved hand in here is a pain in the butt. Now I don't do it often. I don't have to get in here that often, but when I do, 
it's annoying, so I'm going to nitpick it. There you go. All right, number six seems to be something that's, I guess, on a lot of bikes. The oil filter. She's way behind there, right there behind the header. Now, that's not a big deal to get to, I mean, because my F4i was as well. But um, even on the F4i, I never had to take off these fairings. And on the first oil change that I did on this, I tried to do it without taking off the fairings and doing the old aluminum foil trick. Oil went friggin' everywhere. So it kind of annoys me to do it now. You kind of have to unbolt this lower because this is a three-piece top, middle, and bottom fairing. Or just take off one complete side. I'm probably just going to take off the lower fairings on both sides. So like I said, this is you want to nitpick, I'll nitpick. I wish it was easier to get to this, not just to get to the oil filter, because they do have a K&N, and you can kind of see the uh, the nut, yes, I said nut, on the front of the filter. Where is that filter? Where are you? There you are. Here's something that doesn't annoy me about my bike, per se, but the 07 uh, CBR 600s and even the F4Is, and even my F4 had these really big, ugly, square, blocky um, uh, turn signals with amber with uh amber lenses and i really like the the look of these better so i don't know does that qualify something that pisses me off about my bike not really but it is annoying that honda puts on such a beautiful motorcycle they put off these big you know lunch boxes that stick off the side of the bike so that kind of annoys me too all right number eight on i don't want wendy's bike he removed his passenger pegs now i never take a passenger I do use these pegs sometimes to strap down my tail bag, but for some reason, when Honda kind of went for a really smooth look, if you remove the passenger pegs on a 600 double R, you're gonna have these indentations, which really look they look dumb. Um, so I don't understand that. I, I would much rather have this kind of unbolt and give it a nice clean look. I mean, this is the subframe itself. This isn't just a uh, you know a trim piece. So that's kind of annoying that Honda would do that. I don't know if they've done that on the 13 and up models, but I think it would have, even though it looks nicer on, you kind of don't have the option of removing these because you're going to have these 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 uh, indentations right there. Like I said, I don't know if I want to remove them because I do use them for the tail bag and for mounting my Cena prism on the bike. But um, yeah, that, that's kind of a, a poor design in my opinion for those of us who might want to have wanted to take off the... Uh, uh, passenger pegs. Here's something odd. The, and I guess a lot of sport bikes with the step seats do this. My key here is going to unlock the, um, what's it called? It's going to unlock the cow cover, the uh, seat cow. But to get this off, to get off this uh, seat itself, the driver's seat or whatever you want to call it, the main riding seat, let's say if you had to get to the battery, you kind of need a torque, uh, not a torque, an Allen head right there. Um, and if you don't have this, like if I, I don't have a factory toolkit, but I have a ton of tools here, but if I had a factory toolkit, I guess I'd be able to get this off. So I have to keep that Allen wrench in here somehow because heaven forbid I got stuck and I need to get this off. I need to get that out. Okay. And there is no way to just kind of clip it out like it was on a single seat motorcycle. So that's an annoying thing. So that's nine. I don't know if I have ten, because I, I do really like this bike. Um, I enjoy riding it. I love the way it looks. And uh, I guess that's it for me. Nine things that I uh, dislike about my 600 double R. You know what the last thing is? That I'm not riding it right now, and I'm too busy messing around with this uh, snowblower. So there's my ten thing. My ten thing about my, my CBR 600 double R is that... I can't ride it right now because we got a blizzard last weekend and this thing's not going anywhere for the foreseeable future. But, hey, if you, if you lasted this far, thanks for watching and ride safe and I'll see you.